Hello, French horn players. It's Mr. Cronin. Let's learn to play our concert B flat scale. Now, other members of the band have already played their concert B flat scale, but for, with French horns, we kind of laid off of that for the time being due to the high note range that this can require, okay? Um, so today you're gonna see that this scale, I've given you two options to do the high notes and the low notes. I'm gonna walk you through both of them, um, but in the end, if you're playing the low notes and playing them accurately, life is good. If you have the range and you feel comfortable playing the high notes, then also life is good. Either way, scales are a real important building block to our playing. So let's get started. We're gonna begin with our key signature chant for the concert B flat scale. I'm seeing one flat B flat key of F. And you can see this scale does start and end on the note F. So it's one flat B flat key of F. Let's go to our how to practice for band sheet. And it tells us that step one is to count it out loud. Now with a simple exercise like this, I'm not gonna do the count out loud with you um, because we're just dealing with half notes, quarters, and whole notes. Life should be pretty good there. Be sure that you're just giving your half notes two counts and we'll be good. Step two is to note name it out loud. And you might remember that every scale follows the masters of the alphabet. And so I could use my F to F masters of the alphabet. But for today, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to actually read the notes from the page. Now, we're going to do this two times. The first time, I'm going to name only generic note names. So what that means is F, G, A, B. I'm only saying the letter name. I'm not saying the sharps or flats. So this is the generic note names. My metronome is set on 60 beats per minute. If you don't have a metronome handy, you could use a clock with a second hand to do 60 beats per minute. Okay. The important part is that you're staying steady. One. Two, name the notes with me. Here we go. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, F, A, C, F, E, C, B, G, F, and I'm there. Okay, good job. Go ahead and pause the video right here to practice that on your own. All right, and if you're back, that must mean that you are ready to add the key signature to our say the note names. So in this scale, the only thing that I'm going to change when I say the note names is that every B is going to be B flat, whether it's marked or not, and that's because the key signature tells us. It tells us one time, play all the Bs as flats, and so that's what we do. Let's name those notes with the proper key signature. Ready, here we go. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F, F, A, C, F, E, C, B flat, G, F, and we've made it. Okay, great job. Go ahead and pause the video here to practice that three or four times. All right, if you're back, let's go to our um, how to practice for band sheet. Step three, fingers and positions. First, I'm gonna walk you through the low note fingers, and then I'm gonna walk you through the high note fingers. Remember always that any fingering questions that we have can be answered by looking at our book. On pages 46 and 47, you have all the notes you would ever need on French horn, okay? Remember that once we hit the note A, we throw the trigger on and have the triggered set of fingerings. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the low note fingerings first. Note names out loud with fingerings. Two, and ready, here we go. F, G, A, B flat, jump to low C, D, E, F, E, D, C, jump to B flat, A, G, F, F, a, jump to low C, F, E, C, jump to B flat, G, F, and we're there. Go ahead and pause the video, practice fingering through the low notes while saying the note names until you feel comfortable. All right, if you're back, let's go to the high note fingerings, okay? Remember that we're throwing trigger on starting at A. One, two, ready, steady, go. F. 
G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F, F, A, C, F, E, C, B flat, G, F, and we're there. Okay, great job. Go ahead and take the time to practice through your note names with fingerings until you feel really comfortable with that. Okay, and if you're back, that must mean you're ready for step four, silent play. Silent play puts together your fingers and your air and your tonguing and all of that. Now, I'm not going to walk you through that just for time's sake, but I would recommend playing through your silent play until you feel 100% confident to move on to step five, which is play. We're going to put it all together. And I'm going to start you guys by playing through the lower section first. Now, I want to find my starting note to be sure that I'm starting in the right place, okay? So let's find that starting note by playing our C, E, G and stepping down to F. There's our starting note of F. My metronome is still set on 60. Here we go. Ready, set, play. that went pretty well because I had spent the time note naming and doing all the fingerings and everything that was pretty successful you may have a little bit of difficulty with the jumps between B flat and C just be sure to practice it several times and you'll get there okay now I'm gonna take you through the high note section again these high notes um, it's not that important that you're playing these high notes as a fifth grader what is important is to have goals and having a goal of getting one note higher every day that's an awesome goal okay so we're gonna try for the high note section I don't want you to freak out um, if you're not getting these high notes to come out this is pretty high in the brass range for us as fifth graders so let's go ahead and run through the high note section I'm gonna find my starting pitch again <laughs> There it is. That's our F. One and two and ready, set, play. <laughs> Okay, and so that takes us through both the low option and the high option on our concert B flat scale. Uh, be sure to play your scales every single day. They're a true building block of our musical skills, okay? Have fun, and I'll see you guys real soon.